What a moron. I have no idea how they got this. I specifically told my staff to destroy everything. I can't imagine. It doesn't matter how it happened. We can't make it unhappen, so now we have to adapt. Don't they realize that this is a first draft? All we have here really is a perception problem. We don't get a second chance at a first impression, Donald. You know that. Now, look, I'm on your side, but Linda is furious. What's she saying? They want to point fingers. At me? I told her we cannot do that. I mean, you are vital to this process. I'm up to here with them, Donald. For lying, for turning their back on you. You know, I'm of a mind to say, screw it. I'll fall on this grenade myself just to piss them off. Give me John King at CNN. Wait, Frank, this is not your fault. No, we have to protect your reputation. No, but you're the man that needs to get the bill through the house. I will, hang on. I will assign it to one of my deputies and quietly manage it, and I'll help guide you through the process. I am not comfortable with this. Well, then what do you suggest we do? What a martyr craves more than anything is a sword to fall on. So you sharpen the blade, hold it at just the right angle, and then three, two, one. It should be me. It was my bill. No. Impossible. Donald, look, education has been your life's work. The truth is, my heart is not in this fight. You know me. I'm not a wheeler dealer. I can put my mind to policy, but I'm no good at this brand of politics. Well, if not you, then who? It should be you, Frank. You're formidable. People respect you. They will follow your lead. Let me, let me be on the sidelines for this. Well, I could only consider that as an option if I knew that I could still come to you for counsel. Of course. Whatever you need. Part of me is glad this got leaked. Well, would have been better if it hadn't, but at least people know where I stand. Thank you, Donald. Happy to do it, Frank. He has no idea we got six kids in the next room already working on a new draft. Stamper! But why dampen his mood by telling him? We just gave him a great gift, the chance to fulfill his destiny. Write up a statement for Blythe, stepping aside, fresh ideas, etc., etc. Make it dignified, he's a good man. Oh, and bring me that Williams editorial. After careful thought and discussion with my staff, I am relinquishing my management of the Education Reform Act. I hope to remain a part of the process, but I won't be working. Why did you leak the draft? I'm not exactly sure how it got leaked, but uh, it does represent it exactly. It came from your office, though, correct? Uh, we wrote it, but I don't. We'll be know. managing the bill now. Frank Underwood. Was that your choice, or did the administration? I feel very confident placing the bill in Frank's capable hands.